Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the 8th through the 15th of October. This is for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This reading is for somebody. <laughs> I don't know who might not be for you, okay? Keep that in mind. This reading is not for every single person that watches it. Typically, my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. Something is unstable. You know, there's like an opportunity that may be being thrown away. You may not see the opportunity or you may not be accepting an opportunity that is a really good opportunity. So, you know, it feels as though there's a there's a, an opportunity that is not being seen or accepted or something like that. Um, ooh, now we have the tower. So the tower comes in to change things for you. When you can't, when you don't make the right decision, okay, somebody, when, when you aren't doing the right thing, um, that's when the tower will come in and, and pose a problem to, to wake you up, okay. So it looks like there's going to be some sort of event or epiphany or happening that may cause an uproar in your life. So be prepared. Be prepared. But it's really a blessing. You may not see it as a blessing, but it is a blessing. Somebody is losing a really good opportunity. Oh my God, Virgo. Oh my goodness gracious. It's like it's a love opportunity, right? Are you throwing away an opportunity for, for, for true love? I mean, is, is that what's happening here? Because you don't want to deal with a breakup? Maybe there's a breakup that needs to happen so that you can have this love that you're supposed to have? I mean, geez, I'm crow. Son of a gun. I'm trying not to swear, but it looks like somebody is... Oh, goodness gracious. Losing a love opportunity. I mean, that's what's happening here. Um, You guys have been getting prepared. You are prepared. It's like you've worked really hard on something. On a false foundation. I think that you guys are involved in something that is not true. It's, it's false. But it's like you're trying... Oh my goodness, let me get the rest of the cards. You're scared to release. You're scared to release. You're scared of the unknown. You're deceiving yourself. It's really sad. It is. I'm sorry. I really am. I'm sorry. Now, this could be work-related or relationship-related, but it does have to do with emotion. Something is not emotionally fulfilling. It's a false foundation. It's not concrete. It's not stable. You're involved in a situation that is it's almost like it's it's unreal, okay? And the truth is going to come out, okay, with the 7 of swords. The truth is eventually going to come out because you can only withdraw yourself for so long before you know your emotions get the best of you. And I think that somebody is trying to hide their true feelings about how they really feel because they don't want to deal with the break. They don't want to deal with the pain. They don't want to deal with the trouble that it's going to cause to reveal the truth. But the fact of the matter is, is a release needs to happen. Okay, it does. Right now, you're blocking. You're, you, this is a blockage. You're blocking stability and security because... You don't, you don't want the truth to come out about how you truly feel. And this really sucks. And you have to, you're going to, you know, this is a card of personal freedom. It is. You need to free, and this is release. You need, and they're both nines. 
you you need to close a chapter you need to close something off and you're you're re, it's like you're you're too scared to do so i'm not sure why you're so scared to do so but something needs to be closed and you've been delaying this closure for some reason but i think that you're getting prepared for it okay you're getting prepared to release but you're still holding stubbornly holding on as you're still stubbornly holding on to something that is secure and it could be a job or a home or something it's financially secure all right it's security you're holding on to this security that really 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 isn't secure okay it's not it's a not when it's not emotionally fulfilling okay when there's when there's no love there it's really not secure but it appears that it's secure because you can touch it, right? You can touch it. It's tangible. It's 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 uh, it's there. You can touch it. But when it's not love, I mean, you're doing yourself a serious un injustice. You really are. You really, really, really are. So whether it's a job or relationship, somebody is really um, not loving themselves enough to put themselves first. And I, I hate to see this kind of shit. And I really do. Um, <laughs> now, this is the Ten of Wands reverse. This is, you need to make a conscious change to release. And this is release as well. You need to, you, you need to drop this burden. Okay? Drop it. But the fact of the matter is, with this Queen of Cups reverse, you, you don't want to deal with any pain. I think that at this point you may be feeling withdrawn and and um, unable to master your emotions to a point where you can put yourself first. But eventually it's going to catch up to you. Okay, you can block it. Yeah, you can block it right now. But eventually it's going to catch up to you. It is. It really, really is. So be prepared, and I think that you are getting prepared. But maybe, maybe you're in this situation right now because of money or whatever the whatever it is, or just to feel secure. Sometimes people will stay in a situation just to feel secure, even though they're not in love. So I think that there's a situation that needs to be released that's not that you're not in love with that it's gonna catch up to you. So there's gonna be some sort of event with that tower card. Okay, there's a tower moment here. The tower is uh, the universe. It's a universe card that's saying, okay, and this is a reveal, the seven of swords. The truth is going to come out to force a change, okay? The universe is going to reveal the truth to force a change. Something is going to happen because you're not emotionally fulfilled. You're, it's, you're not. You're not. Somebody is not happy, whether it's in your job or or in your relationship, somebody is absolutely, and some of you are going to pretend it's your job when really it's your love life. And I know that is the case as well. So, um, you're really losing, you're, you're losing, I mean, take, they're mirroring each other. You guys are losing a golden opportunity for love. You are. By staying in a situation that is less than fulfilling only for the stability of it and for those of you that say you're, you're talking to me like that you're giving me a lecture no this is my voice i'm not going to coddle you you're preaching if you don't like me don't watch i'm not going to change myself for anybody To make you watch me so that you don't have to hear it as it is. Sometimes you need to hear it harshly to wake up. And I'm not trying to be harsh. I'm saying it however it comes out. I am Virgo rising, by the way. Ascendant. Somebody is, these are both gifts from God. Refusing the gifts, refusing the opportunities. Aces are gifts from above. And you're refusing them 
turning them away. And it's causing you animosity. It's causing you hurt. It's causing you emotional unfulfillment. Because you're trying to fight destiny, basically. You're trying to fight the universe's plan. So things are going to continue to go downhill until you stop blocking the universe. This is blocking the universe, the tower's universe. The plan. It's going to be careful because the truth is going to come out with this tower moment. The truth is going to come out, whether it's this week, next week, whatever, in October, something is going to force a change. Because I think that you guys are holding on to something that you can touch, but it's not love. It's not emotionally fulfilling. Trust me. I'm in this with you. I'm not trying to be a bitch. Needs to end. It's time to transition from this phase. I mean, the death underneath the tower. <laughs> okay? Something needs to end. Death is release. Death is the end. It's the end of something that was false. That's a false foundation. There's a rude awakening coming because something needs to end. It's time for your transformation. You've been getting prepared for it. You knew this is coming. You know this is coming. You do. You do. But you've been trying to block it from coming because you don't want to deal with the upheaval it's going to cause. It is going to cause an upheaval. There's no doubt about it. But in the end, you're still going to have plenty. You have plenty. It's time to be realistic. You can plant your seeds someplace else. And I think you already have. I think these seeds of change were planted a long time ago. And now, and now you're feeling so insecure. This is insecurity. It's like it's a gamble. Taking a risk, right? You're on thin ice right now. You're on thin ice and it's like you're about to fall through. Because you've been holding it in. You've been holding it in for so long. It's like, yeah, I want this because I want something. I want something. I want something. I want to say I have this, okay? I want to say I have this. But it's not what's fulfilling you, right? It's not. It's not. Now, this is a victim mentality in other decks. And this one is too. It's almost like you're... You may use that to some extent, you know, being a victim here. And I find that hard to believe for Virgos, I really do. But for some reason, those words came out of my mouth, right? Victim of circumstance. Oh, yes, that's what it is. These are my circumstances. I can't break free. I've invested too much in this. But the universe is saying, it's time. It's time for this release. It's time for this closure. It's time for this change to happen. Be careful, because it is gonna. It is going to happen. Um, and you've been in no hurry whatsoever. It's like, no, 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 I don't want to deal with this upheaval. I really don't. I don't want to deal with it. I just would rather bury it and be that victim. That, you know, be in this circumstance, because I don't want to deal with it. But and that's because there's a lack of strength, right? When you, if you, if this card was upright, you could deal with it. You are this, there's this, this lack of strength, lack of willpower, lack of courage, fear of the unknown, weakness. Now I know that you guys are strong. I do believe me. I know 
a lot of Virgos, and I am a lot of Virgo, okay? Virgo rising, that's big. You guys are strong. But right now, you're letting your weakness, you're le letting your, your fears get the best of you. You're not finding that strength to love, to go after the love that you deserve. You're letting your circumstances get the best of you. It's about, right now, it's more about security, right? It's about touch and feel and what I have, not about love. And that's a really sad situation. It really is. So it feels like this week there's going to be some sort of event or happening or rude awakening that... moves you in a new direction with this death card. But you've been in no hurry to take any action on your own, right? I mean, I hear you. I'm there. Because you don't want to deal with the upheaval. You don't want to deal with the backlash. And right now, it's, it's, it, it looks secure and it feels secure, but it's less than emotionally fulfilling. You're clinging to the past. You're clinging to the memories. Six of Cups reversed. I mean, that's what it is. It's clinging to the memories. It's, yeah, there's memories there and the past is there, but it's not happy anymore. It's what you know, but there's no... It's like the connection, the loving, that loving feeling... Whether this is job or relationship has died. That good old love and feeling is no longer strong. It's time for you to, to love yourself. God damn it, I don't like these kinds of messages. It's time for you to take that mask off and make this painful, stressful decision. That's what this is. You have to make a painful, stressful decision. It's time to face your fears. Stop being in denial. Stop avoiding this breakup or whatever it is. Stop blocking your own emotions. You matter. For a lot of you, this is job related. For a lot of you, this is relationship related. For some of you, it's both. Somebody is in complete avoidance, you know, avoiding the upheaval. I will stay in this circumstance just to avoid any trouble. But all the while, it's, it's killing you inside. It really is. It really, really, really is. And you're doing yourself a terrible, terrible injustice by not wanting to be held accountable, by not treating yourself fairly. And in, in all reality, you're not treating the other people fairly either if you're not being honest. And I love you, Virgos. I love you, Virgos. I actually really like another Virgo, okay? I have a I have a Virgo that I really like. And um This is sad. It is. It, it, it I don't I'm not, I'm not happy about it, okay? And this Virgo is a man, just so you know. It's not, if you you think it's you, I got some people in my life that are Virgos. It's not. This is a Virgo that I met on the trip. So, anyhow. Somebody is doing themselves a terrible injustice by staying in a situation that is... not love and they know it they know it that's denial avoiding the truth so I don't know who this reading is for like I said it isn't for any of you it isn't for all of you and 
some of you are, like I said, are going to deny it. Like I said at the beginning of this reading, you're still going to deny it. But the universe sees it. The universe knows the truth. You cannot avoid the truth being told to the universe. These, you can't help that shit. Okay, that's out of your control. And the universe sees that you are unstable and insecure and not in love. It's not love. It's not love. And that you need to find your strength and your courage and your confidence to release. And right now, somebody is not doing the right thing. But it's time for that change. This is, this is the Wheel of Fortune, a new chapter. Karma, destiny, universe, change of course. Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to what is meant to be. This is actually a lucky break. This break that is about to happen or is going to happen or has happened is good luck. It's a lucky break. But you have to accept it. Will, free will does play a part. It does. If you, if you don't accept it, bad luck. If you do accept it, good luck. What goes around comes around. This is destiny. This is fate. This is the wheel of fate. And this is a fated event. So I think that there is something that was fate or is fate that is being denied. So a little bit of advice for Virgo. Oh, there's an opportunity for happiness. That's that's commitment, marriage, happiness, contentment, coming together. You know, there's an opportunity for happily ever after. If somebody would accept the truth, but they're not. Somebody's not telling the truth. They're not accepting the truth. They're not. This is lack of truth. Dishonesty. It is. Sabotaging. Somebody is sabotaging their own happiness even though there is a deep connection. There's a deep, strong, magnetic attraction that is undeniable that I believe is being denied Because somebody's not taking action. It's really sad. Somebody doesn't feel stable with themselves. Somebody is delaying their own happiness by... It's almost like you're being... You're staying for materialistic reasons or all the wrong reasons. Somebody is staying in a relationship for all the wrong reasons when there is a, a connection that has happened... Or is wants to happen that you are trying to avoid because of the stability that you're where you're at right now. You know what I mean? Where you're at right now, it's stable. Or it appears to be stable. It's not stable. Okay, it's not stable. But it looks stable, right? It looks stable down here. It feels like it's stable. You know, but it's not. When you're when there's no love, there it ain't fucking stable. Just saying, okay, it ain't. You may pretend that it is, and this is pretending, so that makes sense. Somebody's pretending that it's stable, but they have a new connection. They do have a new connection that is undeniable. That is being denied. It is being denied because they don't want to face the uproar. It's right now they're stable, but they're not in love. But there is an opportunity for love here. But right now it's completely delayed. There's no forward movement because somebody is staying in a situation for all the wrong reasons. 
So Virgo, I feel as though there is an opportunity for a partnership here with somebody that you are very compatible with that could lead to commitment. But you're, but you're not taking action, so it feels like the universe, it may cause a fight or a breakup or something to, to force you to accept the truth of this situation, perhaps, makes, maybe to help you find your strength, because right now there's a lack of love where you're at. There's, it was like a, it's a false soulmate connection where you're at. This is like a soulmate card, but it's reversed. And this is the false. It's like a false soulmate connection that you are staying in because you don't have the strength to break free because right now it's something you can touch. It's, I can say I have it, but it's not honest. It's not truthful. Maybe, um, you know, and there's an opportunity for a commitment that could lead to something really, really happy if you could take off this mask and speak your truth. I mean... Um, but right now there's a lack of, of communication. There's a lack of compromise. You think that you're really stuck on, on staying where you're at because of the money, the financial, whatever it is, whatever it is, you're staying for security reasons only. But there's some, there's an opportunity for something better with that two of cups for, you know, a, a, a strong connection. There's somebody here that you are, you have an uh, ability to be really compatible with. But right now there's no togetherness because you are focused on the wrong one. God damn it. Oh, son of a bitch. I'm sorry, I couldn't control myself. But yeah, somebody is really discontent thinking about the wrong thing, you know. They're focused on the wrong one when there's an opportunity for the, two of, for the Two of Cups. There's an opportunity for true love here. This is Two of Cups. This is Ace of Cups. This is an Ace of Cups. you got to look at this many ways. Really discontent, staying in a situation that, yeah, there's a foundation there, but it's really not a strong foundation. When there's no love, it's not a strong foundation. You may be staying just for, I think you're staying just for the, the touch factor. Is something to have, um, but it's not. It's not love, and there is love here for you. Somebody, somebody. There's a there's a strong connection to be had that is like undeniable. It's undeniable, but you can't break away from where you're at. Who knows what reason? Because you're unstable. You're ungrounded. You're not being realistic. I'm sorry. So Virgo, you need to get grounded. You need to come back down to reality. And I don't like to give you these messages considering I am Virgo rising. <laughs> but it's like you're you're making a wrong decision here. You are. You're you're concentrating on money and tangible what you can touch more than your own happiness, okay? And the universe sees that. The universe sees that it's that you're not focused on love, and that and that's really like what's that called? Self sacrifice. You are sacrificing your own love, your own happiness for what? For something that is unreal. So anyway, Virgo, I see that there is an opportunity for love here. There is. With this Two of Cups, there is. With somebody that you are very compatible with. But right now, you're not being realistic. You're not. You're not being realistic by staying in a situation that is... That you think is what you should do. But it's wrong. I mean, it's not fulfilling you. <coughs> so this is about making a decision. You have to make a painful, stressful decision and face your fears. Either way, the, the tower is here. It's a rude awakening. The tower is here to rip that mask right off. So be prepared. If you're not prepared, get prepared. 
because you can only put yourself last for so long, for so long before the universe says, okay, it's time. It's time for me to step in and force this change. So be prepared for some sort of <coughs> change. Change is a coming in October, Virgo. And it's because you deserve love and you don't even know it. You deserve love, Virgo. You deserve love. And that's what this is about. You aren't going to make a move. Whether this is job related or relationship related, you aren't going to make a move. The universe says, okay, all right. You don't dare to? You're, you're not strong enough? Oh, yes, you are. Going to give you a, a boot right up your ass. Something like that. You know what I'm saying? It may not be that extreme, but, you know, because I know, I know that you guys are very practical but you're not being practical at this point you're not because you're putting yourself last but typically that's what you're trying to do you're trying to stay where it's most practical that's exactly what this is but it's not practical you're not seeing things clearly you're not that veil you're not that veil is over her eyes you're not seeing it clearly because you have to put you you're not put you need to put yourself first and you're not. Both these queens are reversed. You're not putting yourself first. And when you don't put yourself first, shit rules. I mean, it's, it, it doesn't work out. It doesn't. If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. People can sense those vibes, you know. They can sense, and that goes with daddy as well. If, the, if you aren't happy, it's just the way it is. Other people can feel those vibes, even your children. And it just, I mean, that's the way it is. So I feel like there's a new connection here that could lead to a partnership. If you can stop clinging to what you knew. I mean, you're throwing away a golden opportunity, and it could be for children. You could be you could be throwing this opportunity away because of children. I don't know what it is. Miracles, miracles. Expect the wondrous to emerge. Thank you, Lord. Right. Just around the bend, a miracle is waiting to happen. Release fear and uncertainty, and majestic wonders wait to unfold for you. Watch for them and embrace them. Some come in an unlikely form. Trust that all is unfolding for your highest good. Expect miracles in your life. What is expected tends to be realized. The more you become aware of the small marvels in your life, the more they will grow in magnitude. Celebrate and cherish them when they appear, no matter how small they may seem. What others see as ordinary, the sacred traveler sees as wondrous. Look at your life in a new way. Let go of fear and expectations and allow the creator to solve your challenges in mysterious and wondrous ways. That is, this is going to be a blessing. There's going to be something that really rips that veil right off and brings you a miracle. It really is a miracle. Look at your life in a new way. Let go of the fear and expectations and allow the creator to solve your challenges in mysterious and wondrous ways. Don't limit the way you think miracles can appear in your life. All is well. So Virgo, I feel like this is a week of change for you. It really is. Something is changing for the better, even though you may not feel like it is. You may feel like this is a disaster, but it's not a disaster. It's not a disaster. It's going to bring you love. It is. 
because you've been lacking in that arena and you deserve love. Whether this is job or relationship related, you haven't been in emotionally in an emotionally fulfilling situation. And now the universe is here to say, here you go. Bye.